This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools unit. I'm on Lesson 12, Updating Records, Puzzle 2. Updating Records. Sometimes in your program, you may want to make edits to a record that already exists in your database. You can do this by using the Update Record block. Oh, perfect. That way we don't have to delete and remake a record when we want to change it. Update record has three parameters. The name of the table which contains the record you want to update. The object you want to update. Keep in mind an object is like the row, right? So an object from our data table here is Wonderwall or I will survive. And then properties of our object are I will survive 180. And the property name would be like seconds and artist. Okay, so. Uh, the object in the second parameter, oh, object, a callback function, which is the function that automatically runs once we get that information from the server. The object in the second parameter needs to have an ID property as with delete record. Yeah, keep in mind this is the ID, right? They're numbered here. We can't change or edit those. Um, this object's ID is used to determine which record in the database should be updated. Alrighty. Your database already includes a table called My Songs. Open the data viewer for My Songs and note that the record Eye of the Tiger is missing information for the artist and seconds column. Yes, it is. Run the starter code provided and take note of what prints to the console. Drag out the update record block. Set the name to My Songs. Okay, this, oh, we're saving this across projects. Cool, we're going to build something. So let's run it. I have the tiger undefined, right? So what I'm assuming they're doing is attempting to get the artist. Yes. Oh, no, they set the artist there. Council log. Yeah. So they're attempting to get the artist right here. And they use I because we're using a for loop. Okay. So we're iterating through, we're looping through each of the records. Oh, what is records? Records is the item. The, oh, records is the complete database that is returned when we run read records. So we say read records and the server says here's all your data and that's the complete database. All the songs, all the rows, all of that. And then what we're going to do with records now is we're going to use a for loop because it's an array of our records. So we can loop through each index. The one at index 1 will be this object, Thriller. The one at index 2 will be, oh no, this would be index 0, index 1, so on and so forth. And then we're grabbing from each the title, which is a property of the, of each uh, object at the index. So the title is here. So when I say index 0 or records 0, it says, okay, here's your record 0. And then I say dot title, it grabs Thriller and puts it out which is why Singer is undefined for Eye of the Tiger. So drag out, drag out, update record, add update record below. Okay, so I guess we're going to do it in the update song function. All right, set the table name to my songs, right, because that's the name of our database. So we're going to be using that. Set the object song update. Okay. And I, wait, did they show us that example? Yeah. So they want the object. Oh. So they could be better at this, but this is the object they mean. So songs to update. Add a council log. Update records, success handler. So we want to print out the updated records. So what we can do is we're just going to, what the record that's returned, we're going to output the title. So updated, I guess. And then we're going to do, we need the title like before. Um, so to access that record is what is returned as our database and then we um 
need the artist. So record.artist is the property that we're going to grab. That is looking good. Let's give it a shot. What happened here? Oh, I did songs instead of song. Let me use that run. And Eye of the Tiger is updated with Survivor. Now let's talk about how this is working because this is somewhat complicated to be honest. Um, I'm just going to get rid of so we can see more of it all together, some of this spacing and maybe a comment or two. All right. So what is happening here is we are going to right away we ask the server for the records. Hey, do you have the records for my My Songs database for this database that we saved? Once it returns those records, this function executes, right? And so what it returns is going to be called records. So it gives us back our database and we name it records. All right. At this point, we're going to console log, console log songs. And then we have a for loop that's going to iterate through all of the uh, objects in the records that have been returned, right? Because records is a big array of objects. So index zero is the first line. Index two is the second line, third line. And so we do records.length because it will start counting the length with one, right? But indexes start at zero, which is fine because we just say less than the length. So we only, and we start our in, we start I at zero. So we get the first index using zero. And then what we will do with this one is go all the way up to four, right? And index four, since we start at zero, will be I of the tiger. Then we hit plus plus I and it goes to index five and it says, oh wait, I got to stop. I is no longer less than records.length because five is not less than five and drops below. How we're updating the record is right here. This function update song last song. Well, what's last song? Well, here it is. The variable right here is going to be defining last song la uh, or last record. Last record equals records. What's records? Oh, yeah, it's what we got back from the server. It is the entire array of objects, the whole database. So we say, hey, using records, let's grab records.length minus one. Well, the length of an array minus one will always be the last object in that array. So we make last record equal to records records length minus one, which is going to be the object at the last index in the array, which is eye of the tiger. We then pass that to the update song function saying, hey, update song, here's the record. Update song then executes songs to update is going to be equal to whatever that last song was, right? That's the record we passed, and that's going to be eye of the tiger. We then update songs to update dot artist. So we change up that um, property and we set it equal to survivor. We then say, okay, update record songs to update and songs to update again equals survivor. And now with the new artist, it well equals eye of the tiger. And now with the new artist attached, and then we say execute the function once the, this returns the new records with a success handler. Uh, ignore that, I guess. And then we counsel log it, just showing off that the new artist has been updated. This is some complicated stuff, some real coding, uh, but it's useful and it is kind of real world um, programming as well. And that you will see things like this in a professional environment. So I'm excited to see what else we're going to be learning. Let's uh, keep going.